So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, number 79. Watch is fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Change up in for a strike. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they come in trying to put together a complete ball game as they've lost their last two. Yeah, Matty, if they're going to clean up their recent trends right now, they're going to have to find a way for it to start on the mound. They can't go out like last game and allow a bunch of runs and not play sound defense behind them. Both those things are going to have to change if this team's going to get it going in the right direction. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Woody Keller, this is my nightmare. He likes to call a pitch above the zone, above the belt. I know guys say those are the pitches that go deep, but I'm telling you, if you're calling that high strike, it opens up a lot of room for the pitcher. I agree with you, Buell. That's a tough pitch to get on top of and put it in play. So if you're a pitcher right now, try to elevate in that top part of that strike zone. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run, and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field, into the bleachers, and gone! Hello, Chicago. Kennywood's open. A solo shot here to left, well. so he creeps ever closer to triple digits, and the Pirates are staked to a one-nothing lead. So we'll take one more look, and boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year 